So in the last part of this lecture, we're going to uh, generalize this framework regression even farther and talk about uh, different shapes of functions that we might be able to, might be able to fit, as well as, as shapes that involve more than one variable. So I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Okay? So one way to think about uh, regression sort of in a pictorial way is that, let's say I have data, and here are my x points, x coordinates, and y coordinates, right? And I collect points, which are in here, they're dots, right? And I'm going to try to fit these dots uh, by specifying the shape of the function that I want, okay? So for example, what do I mean by shape? Well, shape could be a line, so be linear regression. A shape could be a parabola, so this would be a quadratic, expression, uh, quadratic regression. A shape could be something else that's kind of squiggly, kind of like this, right? That could be the shape that I want. A shape could be something that is spiky or complicated. And as long as I can write down the functional form of that shape, I can, t I can ask the question, what is the best possible instance of that shape that accounts for the data? Okay, that's m the definition of my model. Okay? Now, um, I've talked about different kinds of, um, um, of regressions where the shapes are polynomials, functions which happen to be polynomials. But we can really expand this framework to talk about shapes that are not polynomials at all. So for example, what if I want to fit my data with something that looks like that? Okay. Now, this is saying that y equals some number times the square root of x. Okay. That works just fine. Okay. As long as I can write down the functional form, I can ask the question, what is p1? You can even add a... Uh, at a constant term out here if you want to, just to, to, to account for some kind of offset, okay? And so to be explicit, we can use exactly the same work, framework to solve this problem by building a, a V matrix, where in this case, the first column of the V matrix is all of my x coordinates, square root of it, and then a column of ones, just like before, okay? So this gives me P1 and P2 equals Y. So you can imagine that this doesn't have to be a square root. It could be, um, you know, the log of something, right? That works exactly the same. And as long as you understand the framework of how to construct this V matrix so that the resultant system of equations gives you the solution to P, then you can solve it using exactly the same framework. Okay, so I'll leave you as an exercise to try to figure out how you would do this if, if the function is, uh, is, is, so Y is a function of log of X instead, right? It's actually just follow this exact form. You should be able to derive it for yourself. Okay. So another way of generalizing uh, is by saying, well, what if I had more than one measurement? All right. Instead of just having y as a function of a single measurement x, what if I had more than one measurement? So now the general form of the equation is f as a function of, let's just say, two measurements. I take two measurements, x1 and x2, and I want to use them to predict, to build a model for a, some kind of output y. Okay. So again, we're going to be able to write down a set of uh, functions, of shapes, um, that we can use in order to fit the parameters. Okay? It's a little bit harder to draw because um, x and y is two dimensions, but once you have x1, x2, and y, we're no longer in two dimensions. We're really fitting a surface. Right? So imagine a, uh, imagine a surface plot where um, there's x1 and x2, and there's a height of a function that is a, is a sheet, right? and that is my y. And this generalizes further to even higher dimensional models. And the math works exactly the same. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like for x1 and x2. And um, you can get a lot more general pretty fast for multivariate regression. So let's say that um, I'm going to make up a model and say that I have two measurements, x1 and x2 of some kind. And I want to predict y. And I want to say that the functional form of this sheet that predicts y, the surface, is some number times x1, um, x1 squared. That's good plus some other number times x2 squared, plus maybe there's an interaction term, right? Maybe there's another number times x1, x, um, pardon me, x1 subscript times x2, right? Plus maybe there are some um, extra terms that are x1 alone, and another term that's x2 alone, and let's throw in a constant term as well. Okay, so 
This is now the functional form that I'm looking for. Um, and if I can look at it this way, that I can transform this model into another system of equations of exactly the same form we had before, vp equals y. Okay? So let's, tr let's try to do that for this particular model that I just wrote down. Okay? So here's my v matrix. I'm going to have some kind of p vector. And all of my y's are here, just like before. Okay? So the first task is that we try to determine how many parameters we have. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's six unknowns that I'm trying to solve for. Therefore, p is a vector with, uh, with six unknowns. So it's p1, p2, all the way to p6. Okay? And because we know about how to multiply matrices and the sizes of the vectors that we have, we know that v now has to have six columns. And we can just read off exactly what they are by looking up here. So the first one corresponds to p1, p1 times x1 squared x1 squared, that's my first column, x2 squared times p2, x2 squared, and then I have x1 times x2. Again, I'm literally taking the two things that I just measured, x1 and x2, multiplying by each other and stuffing them into this column here, my v matrix. And then I have x1, x2, and then a column of the correct size that corresponds to all the ones. So the ones get multiplied by p6, just like before. Now, this equation, once I've constructed my V matrix, my noon matrix of V from the measurements, and I have my desired output Y, I can solve it exactly the same way as before by using, uh, um, pardon me, um, by using the command uh, where I say P, which is the unknown, equals V backslash Y. Okay, this is exactly the same as before. So I've generalized this framework to do multivariate regression. And we can do um, functions of arbitrary forms as long as you can write them down. Okay? Thanks very much.